Good afternoon. Um, so I'm David Reyes, and I'm an assistant professor in the Nursing and Healthcare Leadership Program. And today I want to talk to you about um, work in progress that I am engaged in in community-based participatory research, which is around how do we address food and uh, equity in, in South Tacoma uh, through community-based uh, participatory research. And you can read that all later. <laughs> so here we are in November. It's Thanksgiving month, and we're all thinking about good food and what does it mean to celebrate with friends and family. But the reality is that for residents in Tacoma, that isn't always the case. And that we know that good food is really important for a healthy and long life. When we think about what, takes it, what it takes to be healthy, we have to look at other factors, not just accessing health care, uh, but what is our environment about? Um, what are the economic factors, such like income and education, that actually promote our ability to be healthy? When we look at Pierce County and we look at health factors and health outcomes, we can see that Pierce County actually rates 24th out of the 39 counties in King County. And that's really looking at premature death and quality of life. When we look at county health factors, such as those socioeconomic factors, we think about obesity prevention, we think about um, alcohol use, uh, and poverty. And uh, Pierce County is 26 out of 39. If we start to drill down, we start thinking about well, what does that mean in terms of life expectancy. In Washington State, the average life expectancy is about 80, and in Pierce County overall, it's about 79. But where we live really matters. And if we look at Tacoma, this, which is this area in red, um, the life expectancy is really up to about 73 years of age, so 65 to 73. So what's the problem? In South Tacoma, the access to food is not necessarily as great as it might be in other communities. There's an over-reliance on co corner markets that provide actually unhealthy foods, um, not fresh fruits and vegetables, junk food, alcohol, tobacco. So our access is actually low. So when we think about residents who are having to go outside of their home communities, it's also expending income that they probably don't have. So what's, what are we going to do about it? The Puyallup Watershed Initiative convened three um, communities of interest and locales in Pierce County. And Harvesters County is leading one of those efforts in, 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 in South Tacoma, which I'm um, affiliated with. So they decided to use a CBPR framework. It was very intentional to look at how to use equity as a framework to address this issue and really rely on the community's inherent knowledge and their skills and their understanding of what is important in their communities and begin to actually surface the questions that might need to be asked. So in the uh, fall, or excuse me, in the uh, winter of this past year, they convened a community group through social media and recruited a design team of seven members. We're currently finishing phase one and moving into phase two, where they actually designed questions. They came up with key questions about food access, food quality, and even the perceived need for food. And they began to actually tier those questions in terms of whom they might want to ask. In, in other words, priority populations, low income, et cetera. Currently, they're actually taking those questions and are actually piloting them. They're actually f asking friends and family about, well, what do these questions mean? In other words, if I ask you, you know, where do you access your foods, does that question really make sense? In the third phase, which will actually be in, in um, the winter and spring of this uh, next year, they'll actually conduct focus groups. So we're going to be training them as community researchers, and they'll complete a, an ethics training for community researchers as well. They'll bring that information and that data together and actually begin to make some sense of it, to actually come up with preliminary findings and recommendations that they'll actually bring back to the community. Because we realize in community-based research that it's not about what I think, it's about what the community thinks. So through a people's movement assembly, which is going to be gathering participants back, they'll actually represent that information to validate and actually ask, did we get it right? And if so, then what are the priorities in which we'll move forward? If not, then we will go back and actually ask. So moving into action really takes more than just asking the question. It really means that we have to think about collaborative relationships, creativity, and to think about the policy systems and environmental changes to actually affect change. So in conclusion, you know, f good food is not just about food justice. It's really about building community capacity to lead these kinds of efforts and to rely on their own inherent assets, their own meaning, and their understanding of where they live so that they can move these policies forward. And with that, I think I'm almost out of time. Thanks. <laughs>